What's up you guys? So today obviously we are starting in a different location. We are in my car right now because we are right outside of CVS. It's like right over there. You guys just can't see it. Um, but we're going to be doing a full face of CVS makeup today. We're actually going to be using all Joa Beauty products, which I am so excited about. They're like a newer drugstore brand. I want to say they've been around for like one or two years. I believe the first time that I tried any of their products was about a year ago. And I was really impressed with the products that I tried from them because A, they're actually really good quality. They are a K-beauty brand. So there definitely is an emphasis on the products and what it can do for your skin and everything, which I do really like. And B, it's affordable, okay? It's a drugstore brand. And I believe the only place you can get their stuff in store is is CVS, so that's why we're heading into CVS today. So you can get it on Joa Beauty's website, and then also head in store to your local CVS if you wanna get it in store and check it out. So I am really, really excited. I wanna thank Joa for partnering with me on today's video, but I can't wait to test a bunch of their products. They have a bunch of new stuff for 2019 as well. So we're gonna check everything out, get some stuff, and then I'm gonna go home and take this beat off. I have a little like holiday look going on right now. I'm also gonna get rid of this fun bun. I promise I'm gonna do my hair for you guys because this is not doing me any favors, this little hair look right now. And then we're gonna test everything out. I'm so excited. Make sure you guys subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And um, it's pouring right now, but we're gonna head into CBS and check out this makeup. All right, you guys, they have a ton of stuff here. They have this whole kiosk display of a bunch of Joa products. So I'm really excited. We have like endless options, yes. Oh my gosh, there's even more on this side too. Dang. All right, so we're gonna need a brow product. So let's go with this shade taupe. Hopefully it should work. I also wanna try this blur activator mineral primer. Anything that says blur always gets me. We also need a palette for our eyes. I'm kind of digging this one. It's like soft and romantic. I like that. Banana powder is always a must. They have a bunch of these What A Matte liquid lipsticks. So they all look really pretty. I'm kind of digging this pink velvet shade. It looks really, really pretty. And I think it would go nice with the palette. Oh my gosh, there's even some more stuff over here. All right, so we need some highlighter, contour kits and stuff like that, of course. Blush and bronzer is always needed. And then of course we need a foundation. I'm just gonna grab both of them because I don't know which one's gonna work better. So let's get both to be safe. Also, you guys know I can never go without a full coverage concealer. So let's check one of these out. This is their dark circle, yours truly concealer. And it says it's full coverage and erases dark circles, which is what I need. And of course we cannot forget mascara. This one looks good. All right, you guys, so let's go ahead and get started. I'm first gonna jump in with the primer. So this is the Blur Activator Mineral Primer. It does say shake well before you, so I'm gonna shake it up. This was $9.99, and that is what one pump looks like. So we're gonna go in on our skin. Ooh, wow. This feels like butter. It's so creamy. I didn't expect that. <gasps> Ooh. It also definitely is blurring out my pores, which is exactly what I like in a primer, exactly what I need. But it definitely has a different texture than like most pore filling primers do. Like this one just feels like butter gliding on your skin. Like it's really, really nice. And it feels like moisturizing at the same time. Like it's not just like that dry, like pore filler kind of texture. Like I don't know how to describe it, but it definitely has more of like a lotion-y moisturizing feel. And I really like that, especially cause you guys know my skin is dry. And I feel like this is exactly what my skin needed to apply foundation on top of. It just gave it a nice silky canvas. And this is infused with camellia oil and minerals as well. So it's going to help protect your skin from environmental factors. Up next for foundation, we're gonna jump in with their Angel Food Cushion Foundation. I have this in a couple shades. I think I'm gonna try Classic Ivory first, and then if we need something a little bit darker, we can go in with something else. And I'm gonna just pop this on my skin. Okay, I think we need to go in with the next shade. So I'm gonna grab the next one. I think this one is a little too light. Normally things that say ivory are a little too light for me when I'm self-tanned. Um, this one is natural beige. So I think this one will probably do the trick. I'm gonna go in with this, which looks like a better match for me. And just blend this on the skin. And I would say this is giving me like a velvety matte kind of finish, at least upon initial application. Like I'm not getting like dew or luminosity out of it, but it's not like drying out my skin and leaving it lifeless. So it's like a comfortable matte. Now I definitely say this is giving me medium, if not really honestly full coverage. Like it's pretty much covered up any problem area that I had or anything on my face and covered up my redness and everything like that. For concealer, we're gonna jump in with Yours Truly Dark Circle Concealer. This is in the shade Light Ivory. It has this really cool top, I like that. So we're gonna like crank it up 
It reminds me of the Maybelline um, Instant Ager line, which is one of my favorite concealers, like the applicator. All right, we got some product on there. So I'm gonna just apply it. Ooh, the sponge actually feels really nice because like the product's a little cool and the sponge, like it feels like an under eye massage. I'm just gonna apply that to my under eyes. And the nice thing about Joe is since they are a K-Beauty brand, K-Beauty is all about like makeup, but also like the importance of the ingredients in it and skincare and like actually doing good for your skin. Um, so I do really like that. Like, yeah, it's makeup, it's gonna look pretty or whatever, but it's also like important. What benefits is it giving to your skin? So I do really like that. I'm gonna just go in and blend that all out like so. Blending out super easily so far, which is good. Now let's see the under eyes, the real test. You guys know I'm picky when it comes to my under eyes. Oh, but this is keeping its coverage really well, which is nice. A lot of drugstore concealers will just blend away and it's like, did I just put anything on or no? Um, but this is actually holding its coverage really well, which is good because it does say that it's a dark circle concealer. So it's good that it is holding up well on my under eyes and keeping its coverage. I like the concealer a lot. It did a very good job of concealing my under eyes and making me nice and bright and highlighted. So. A plus to that. Next, I'm going to jump in with their Selfie Ready Setting Powder. They have this in a couple different shades, but they do have a banana powder. So I'm going to use this on my under eyes to both set and brighten them. Oh, this smells really good. Oh my god. <laughs> what is the scent? I don't know what it is. It's like a fresh scent. I like that. This would also be a nice powder to bake with if you like to bake because it's very light and airy. It's not like a like thick drying powder. So you could definitely use this packet underneath your eyes and use it to bake and kind of let it sit there if you want to. Or you could just brush it on like I did. Then I'm going to jump in with their Selfie Ready Setting Powder. This one is in the shade Peach. So it's a little bit deeper. I'm going to use that all over my face. My face is a smidge lighter than my neck is. So I did self tan last night. So I'm going to use this as my all over setting powder and just to shift the color slightly. So I'm just going to go in with that on the face just to set everything down. And they do have a translucent powder in this as well that you guys could use. Up next for brows, we're gonna jump in with the Brow Down To Me Brow Pencil and Gel. So it is dual sided. You have like a little gel on this side and then a brow pencil on this side. So I have this in shade taupe and I'm gonna just jump in with this to go ahead and sculpt out my brows. Just gonna sculpt out these brows. I was just looking at myself today from a picture from a while back where I had nothing on my brows at all. Like I used to not fill my brows at all and it looked so crazy. Like I can't believe that I used to do that. It's crazy how much your brows like change your whole look because they like frame your face, you know? And I used to not tint them or anything so they literally just looked like I didn't have any brows at all because <laughs> my brows are naturally like translucent. I'm just going to go in with some of the brow gel just to set everything down. It also helps to add a little texture back into your brows, so I've been liking using brow gel recently. Alright, now we're going to move on to our eyes. I'm going to go in with this beautiful palette. This is the Birthday Suit Date Night Palette. We have some beautiful rosy shades in here. Very romantic. And I'm first going to jump in with First Kiss. And I'm going to apply that into my crease. Ooh, very pretty, nice and pigmented, which is what we like. It's going to blend that back and forth in windshield wiper motions. Blending super easily as well, which is amazing. Maybe since this is the date night palette, I'll force Steven to bring me on a date after this. <laughs> Not sure where. Probably we'll end up going to like Panera Bread, but <laughs> I'm happy with Panera. I'm a simple gal, you know? Easy date. Cheap date. <laughs> up next, we're going to jump in with Soulmate. I'm going to work this to the outer part of my eye ever so slightly. I'm just going in with a little bit and then we'll build up as needed just because it is the deepest color in the palette, so I don't want to go in with too much. So I'm going to just pack it on either side, and then we'll work it in with a fluffier brush to blend. I actually might be able to blend it in with this brush. I'm just going to bring it into the crease to create some depth in there. I feel like if you're going to do a date night look, you got to make it a little sultry. You guys know. you got to look cute going to Panera Bread. <laughs> oh my gosh. And again, since this color is really pigmented, you only need to go in with a little bit on your brush. It's easier to work the color up than go in with too much, because I used to do that all the dang time. <laughs> and I'm just going to go in and blend back with that original brush, just so we don't have any harsh lines. And I am going to go in and pack that same deeper shade close to my lower lash line. And then we're going to blend it out with a bit of a lighter shade. You could also definitely just smoke out the whole like lower lash with this if you wanted to do something really smoky too. So it's up to you. And then I'm going to jump back in with First Kiss and just use that on like a fluffier brush to blend everything out on the lower lash line. Just makes it a little bit less harsh, a little bit less smoky. 
So it depends on your personal preference. And then all over the lid, I'm gonna pop in with Pillow Talk. It's like a light pinky shade. And I'm gonna just pop this all over the lid. And it actually does say too that you can apply these shadows wet and use them as an eyeliner, which is a pretty cool option. But they do apply very easily and they have a very velvety texture on their own, which I do like. I'm gonna bring that shade into my inner corner as well. And then I'm gonna mix these two lightest shades together just to highlight. And I'm just gonna pop that right beneath the brow bone just to emphasize that. This look is like so flirty, the like pinkies and purples, it reminds me of like Valentine's Day. We're jumping ahead a little bit, but I'm about it. Up next, we're gonna jump in with a liner. I'm gonna go in with the I'm So Fly Felt Tip Liquid Liner, just in the shade black. They do have a brown one of these as well, if you want a little bit more of like a natural look, but I'm going to go in with the black one and just do a tiny little line. This is a very pigmented, and it's nice because it's a tiny little tip too, so it's precise and easy to use. This is always the hardest part to film because I'm always like trying to be <laughs> so precise and pay attention that I don't talk. Sorry guys. All right, liner is done. I'm not gonna do a wing today. I'm just gonna leave it a little bit more natural looking. And now we're gonna jump in with mascara. So for mascara, I'm gonna go in with the Ice Cream Volume and Define Mascara because I like a lot of volume to my lashes, but I also definitely like definition. So I'm gonna go in with this guy. The wand looks pretty cool. It's like a cone sort of shape. So I'm gonna go in with this on my lashes to just coat them really good and define them all out. This is definitely doing a good job at defining out my lower lashes. I like it because I can use this little tip and like really get in and get all those little lashes that normally kind of get neglected. <laughs> and then gonna go in and coat my top lashes as well. It's actually working pretty well with my poor little lashes right now. I have like my last couple eyelash extensions on. I'm in that like weird phase in between like the all the lash extensions coming off and then my natural lashes like looking really short. So this is actually really helping with them. Thank goodness because I needed that. Alrighty, now we're gonna go and finish off the face. So I'm gonna jump in with the Be My Everything blush and bronze palettes. And we're gonna go in with the bronze side first. And I'm gonna just go in all over my face with this to bronze up and give us some nice glow. Just to warm up the skin a little bit. For contour, I'm gonna jump into the Be My Everything Powder Contour Kit. And I'm gonna go in with this contour shade right here. And I'm gonna just sculpt out the cheeks with this nice matte bronzer. And then I'm also gonna sculpt out my nose. Make her look nice and straight. <laughs> then I'm gonna jump back into the blush and bronze palette and go in with the blush in the middle and dust that on my cheeks. This color is perfect to go with the eyes because it has like a purpley undertone. So I'm gonna just pop that on. It has a really nice sheen that it gives to the skin as well. And then I'm gonna jump into the Be My Everything Highlighter Palette and go in with Sunbeam right in the middle here. And I'm gonna go in and highlight my cheeks with this. Yes, honey. <gasps> Beautiful. You guys know I love a good highlight, always. <laughs> super, super pretty. All right, now last but not least, we're gonna go in with our lips. So I'm first gonna line my lips with this lip liner in Pink Nude. So I'm just gonna line out my lips. The liquid lipstick we're gonna be going in with is gonna be a little bit deeper than this, but I still feel like I like to line my lips first. So I stay in the bounds, you know? And then we're gonna go in with their What A Matte Liquid Lipstick. This is in the shade of Pink Velvet. And gonna apply this. Super, super full coverage, wow. Very pigmented, because that was just like literally one dip in here, so. I like that. And this is a matte liquid lipstick. So it will dry down to be a matte. All right, you guys, so that is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed today's tutorial. I love this little like flirty date night look. I think it's perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll have links to everything I used down below and you can also, of course, get it in store at CVS. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye guys.